Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Captain AJ here with AMB Solar Adventures. I'm going to uh, do an oil change on the Shamrock, and I figured I'd bring you along and show you the process on it. It's a pretty simple process. I'm um, going to run it here in the yard uh, for you know probably two to five minutes to get it operating temperature, get the oil hot, and then I'll use the extractor pump to get it out. I'll flip it around here so you can see the oil. Uh, I'm running a uh, Shell. It's a 15W40 uh, Pleasurecraft Marine oil filter, and then just the uh, pliers to get the oil filter off. Moving into here, that's my oil filter. It's pretty easy to get to on these Crusaders. I really like that. Got my uh, inlet right here for uh, hooking the water up. Once I start running the water through it, I will uh, turn the engine on and uh, let it run, like I said, two to five minutes. This is my oil extractor pump. That hose goes into the, uh, to the dipstick tube, which is right here. If you had one that was on a motor with battery powered, it would be a little faster, but this thing works pretty good, so. All right, let's get to it. Yep, keep turning it all the way on. There you go. Is that all the way? All right, good job. Thank you. Where's the water coming from? Coming from the hose going into the motor. Why is it going to the All right, stand back. I'm going to turn it on. Yep, turn the engine on. I'm going to cover my ears, okay? Alright, cover your ears. Alright, we're going to turn it on. It's always good practice to turn the blower on. Let it run, cycle out, and then I'll get ready to turn the engine on. temperature come up to operating temperature it's got a 170 thermostat and then I also have my uh, mechanical gauge right here I'm gonna let it come to operating temperature and that will warm up the oil and then it'll be a lot easier to extract the oil out slowly warming up once it gets up to temperature I'll turn the motor off and then turn the water off and then start pumping the oil out All right, so the thermostat just opened. You saw it went from 171 to 169, and that's actually at 167 out, which is cooled down, which is really good. That means the thermostat's working, and it's it's working like it should. Um, now the motor has reached operating temperature. Now I can go ahead and turn the motor off, turn the water off, and go ahead and pump that uh, fuel out. I'm already down to 165, which hey, is really good. Running really good. Sounds really smooth. Yep, turn it till it stops turning. There you go. Yep, keep going. Good and tight? No. Yep, that's good and tight. Now I'll break it now. I know you muscles. I see a worm. Oh, you see a worm? Ah, oh, it is a worm. Go go put it in the pond. No. Nope. It's not gonna hurt you. Pick it up and go get it. Can he move? Uh it looks like he's dead. Go put him in the pond. All right, so we just turn the water off, turn the motor off, turn the water off. Yeah, All right, now we're gonna come out here and pull out the uh, dipstick and then extract the oil. There's a worm, Dad. There's a worm right here. All right, go throw it in the pond. Okay. Go. Dad. Go throw it in the pond. 
Fish eat it. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this. All right, pull a dipstick and uh, extract oil. Here we go. When I'm um, putting this hose in there, I like to take a rag and then uh, wipe the hose as I'm putting it in there just because it's been sitting you know, underneath the garage, a little dusty. Just keeps it clean. Try to keep as much dust and any debris that you can out of the wool for obvious reasons. So I'm all the way down. I'm in the oil pan now. Let's come over here and start pumping. Here it comes. Uh, if I remember right, it's about seven quarts for this uh, 6 0 Crusader. Um, so this will pretty much take most of the oil out. I, I feel like I get, I don't, I don't think you probably get every bit of the oil out of it, but pretty close. Uh, it'd be really close to seven quarts and I'll put seven quarts back in it. I just buy two, um, one gallons, uh, which is eight quarts. And then I'll, and I'll have a little left over that I'll keep in the boat as well as I have an extra one I keep in the boat just in case have any other issues while you're on the water to have extra, uh, oil. Uh, all right guys, so I'm gonna let this, uh, do its thing. Once all the oil is removed, then I'll pull the oil filter. I'll fill the oil filter back up and then put it on and then go through that process and I'll show you when I get to that step. But right now I'm just gonna let this uh, do its thing and uh, extract all the oil. All right, here we go. All right, it's about, it's about 45, 50 minutes after uh, we started this and uh, we've got the oil out. Uh, it was actually- Dad, we're gonna put the oil in now. Yeah, we're gonna put the oil back in. Um, I said seven quarts. It was actually eight quarts. Cluck, 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 um, cluck, cluck, cluck. So just a correction on that. It was eight quarts of oil, so I got to put eight quarts back in. Dad. Mm-hmm. You lose things, little teenager. Mm. All right. The next thing I got to do is pull the oil filter. Uh, it's kind of tight in here. Uh, there's enough room, and it's not hard to get to, but it is it is a pretty close uh, quarter space here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that and uh, lay a towel underneath of it. That way, uh, it, if any overspill, there's normally a little bit. That way, it uh, gets absorbed by the towel. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to hit the water. Back it out a little bit. Get it to where it's uh, basically hand loose so I can take it off the rest of the way without spilling it. Yep. Why are you doing that? I'm pulling the oil filter off. Are, are you going to put a new one on there? Mm-hmm, exactly. Uh, uh. Yeah, oil's coming out. Why is it? Why are you getting an O over your hands? That's really so dangerous. That's all right. I'm gonna take this rag, try to keep most of it off the motor and out of the boat. Oh, that's cool. All right, next part is uh, take this filter. Dad, I know I wanna talk. Buddy, let me take the filter. We'll take and fill this up and then we will load the uh, seal and then screw it back on. I like to go ahead and fill this up. That way it's got oil in the filter before you turn the motor on. All right, you ready? Do what? Put some oil on that thing. So we're going to put oil on this thing in this work, right, Dad? That's right. Then we'll get the oil. Okay, just come in here. Fill it up. Make a little bit of mess. That's a lot of oil. Uh-huh. 
That's a new one. Mm-hmm. Watch it. I didn't believe what was in that. <gasps> oh, that's good. Now what are we gonna do? I'll put a little bit more in there. Pull it and ignore it like that? Mm-hmm. Make a little bit of mess right here. Trying to do this with one hand and film at the same time is probably not the smartest thing. But we're getting it in there. Right? Mm-hmm. <gasps> nope. That's good enough. You just got over my hand a little. <laughs> hey. Then watch out. Why did you do that? Try to clean it up a little bit so it doesn't spill. All right, so we're going to take this. Dad, Dad, Dad! It's okay. We're going to take this and put it back in the uh, oil filter. Dad, when that oil turns black, can we dump it out? That's going to be an old one when we drive. Mm-hmm. It's about, is it going to be an old one when we drive this boat? Is it? Alright, just hand tight it. Why? And that's all it needs. And we got it right here so we can take and put our, uh, our replacement date on it. So what we'll do, we'll write the date that we, um, changed it. And we'll write the hours on the motor. Which we do it every hundred hours. How? Roughly. How are we going to do that, Daddy? Huh? I'll show you. Okay. All right, so we got that. Now we're going to take and uh, fill the uh, engine with uh, the remaining uh, quarts of oil that we have. Right here. Dad, do I have this? What is it? Is it a snack? Yeah. No. But I want it. You just had a snack. No. But I'm so hungry. Then go get some lunch inside. I got my dad here. Yeah. Can I have a bottle? Can I got here? No. Go get a sandwich. But we're eating All right. So I'm gonna check it with my dipstick, kind of see where it's at and uh, see how much more we need to put in there. Uh, just below the ad line. another quart right at the full line. But I want to take and run the engine for a little bit, let it cycle, and then double check it one more time just to make sure everything's right.
All right, so that's pretty much it, guys, uh, for the old change. It looks like somebody's ready for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You ready? For me? <laughs> you want a sandwich? I want to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich and we'll call it a day. I will uh, cycle the engine one time, just you know, let it run probably two to five minutes, warm up again, and then check the level. It should be really close. It might go down a slight, you know, half a quart, maybe a quarter of a quarter, something like that, and I'll double check. If so, then I'll just add some more oil to it. But uh, that's pretty much the oil change on the Shamrock. It's uh, pretty cut and dry. Um, not a whole lot to it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. You all have a blessed day.